Hi guys, today I'm going to record a video of unboxing this Microsoft Sculpt ergonomic keyboard and mouse combo uh, with the numpad as you can see here. So um, I just bought it from Officeworks. So I just want to show you this is what the box looks like. Um, it's pretty, pretty nice looking box and um yeah let's get started so just gotta get these tags off the sides and and start unboxing so here we go Alrighty. so to unbox it you just have to take these two off here um, and down here and we're going to unbox it now so there you go i'm just gonna turn it facing my way and here we go, just gonna unbox it and just gonna hand over the camera here. Alrighty, here we go. So taking all right, so it comes with this um thin black wrap looks pretty cool and it's nice and nice and organized oh this thing this thing feels uh it's a bit more like like a cloth um not a very plasticky look as you can see there's no noise there the, the keys are obviously plasticky but the, this thing feels really uh, really classy, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to take the keyboard out first. There you go. So that's what the keyboard looks like. It comes with, um, obviously, comes with plastic wrapping all around it. I always love to unwrap these things. Here we go. Looks nice and shiny. I really look, like the look of the keyboard here, guys. Uh, it feels different than any other keyboard I've ever used. And yeah, it feels feels really good. It feels um, solid, um, you know, definitely worth what I paid for it, I guess. Um, and I, I see there's a function key here, so it does something, I guess, but uh, we'll see when we connect it to the computer. Um, also, Going over to the mouse, uh, it's a pretty, like, it's a bigger mouse than what I'm used to. It's a rounder mouse than what I'm used to, but when I hold it like this, it feels really, really comfy. I can definitely feel the, the ergonomics here. Um, and apparently this Windows button, when you click on it, it just opens up the, uh, you know, the start menu uh, on the computer. Feels really good. and. Obviously it looks very classy. It looks, if I have it, I'm going to take this in my office soon. So um, I reckon when I have it in my office, it'll re look really nice. Uh, and the last thing, and which I'm really sort of excited about um, is this numpad here, which is sort of separate to the, the main setup, like to your mouse and keyboard. So it is a, a different sort of, it's not attached to the keyboard, which is really cool. Um, I really use the numpad for my, my calculations and to enter stuff in um, on the keyboard. So uh, it'll be handy to like have it on the side somewhere uh, where it's like accessible. And also it, it comes with the, the standard plastic wrap as well. So definitely feel it's not a, it's definitely not a, a cheap feeling keyboard and mouse. It is Microsoft. So they've kept up to the, to the brand name, I guess. Um, I'll just show you the back of it here. So obviously it's got, got this thing here, which I'm thinking I might have to put some batteries in there. Uh, you do have to put AA and AAA batteries in these. So keep that in mind. Uh, I think we just had to pop that out so um, it could sort of activate. Uh, I think the batteries are already in there for the first time. Um, so it's, you know, um, it's already sort of plug and play, I guess. 
so yeah well we'll um i'll just see if there's anything else in here that i've sort of missed oh there you go there is something in here so when we go back i'm going to sort of go back into it there's like a second layer to it um and this thing here i'm i'm guessing that's like it, it attaches to the keyboard to raise raise um you know like raise the posture side or you know uh, just give it a bit of a lift uh, so we'll, we'll have a look at that as how this one attaches to the keyboard um, now again there is another uh, set of I guess instructions and warranty all that just the general stuff in here um, which I don't really need but I'll, I'll leave it in there uh, there's some warranty information uh, and yeah I can't I can't seem to find anything else um, in here Nope, that's, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, but also, we need a, uh, a USB that plugs into the, the computer. Uh, so I'll try and find where that is and I'll, I'll come back to you. All right guys, so I figured out where the USB, uh, USB is to plug into your computer. So when you turn your mouse around, uh, you can sort of, uh, sort of plug it, click, click it open from down here. It's nice and easy to open from here. And when you open it, um, obviously you've got to take this off to activate the mouse so it can connect to the battery. Um, and there, there is, there's your little thing there. That's the one that will sort of plug out and this will now go into the back of your, on, on your USB port. Um, so, so that's it there, you take it out of there. And I'm, I'm going to obviously activate uh, the mouse for first use uh, going back in there i think these are double a batteries here for the mouse so you will have to get i guess have a set of double a batteries um, and not sure why it's different in the keyboard so the keyboard uh, same thing turn it around uh, it's a little you can put your nail in here it's really easy to open um, same thing here you have to plug out this blue thing here the difference is that the keyboard has triple A batteries. So uh, to keep this thing going uh, down the track, you'll need a set of double A batteries as well as a set of triple A batteries, triple uh, A for the keyboard and double A for the mouse. So we'll plug this baby into the computer and uh, see how that tests out. So uh, just so you guys know, I'm using boot camp on apple mac and imac and i've got windows 10 running on it so it's perfect it runs perfectly fine just as a normal windows and i'm going to plug this usb into the back of it and see if it's a plug and play uh, so let's go into plug and play and let's try and uh, see if it connects directly into it So I've just plugged it in. Uh, as you can see here, it's setting up device. It's setting it up. So, and I'm going to now press the button here, to see if it turns on. I'm not sure if there's like an indicator for uh, the power. The button doesn't really click, so I'm not sure what's actually supposed to happen here. Device is ready. It says it's ready to go uh, on the computer, but it hasn't turned on here. So I'm just going to see. Oh, here we go. Just had to plug that in. All right. So this is a good sign that this thing should be on now. So as you can see on the computer, the mouse is working. I'm just going to test if my keyboard is working now as well. So I'm going to open Notepad. Here we go. So this is a test. Alrighty, so looks like the keyboard is all connected. I'll test the numpad now as well um, and see if that's all for. Seven, eight, nine, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Um, yeah, that's working as well. And I'll click on the calculator. I really like this calculator button on the on the numpad. Um, so because I do a lot of calculations as part of my work, so that will come in as a handy feature. So we'll press that button and see if it pops it up on the screen. There you go. So two times two is four, as we know it, and it's all working. So that's great news, guys. I'll come back to you with the actual review of what it feels like um, while typing and with regular use. Hi, guys. So I have used the keyboard now for a for a while, and I can say that uh, it's definitely really good with uh, the typing uh, speed and like just getting used to it at the start it's it's not that bad if you're a regular uh, if you're regular at typing uh also the mouse feels really uh really comfortable like the the position on the mouse although it's a it's a really thick mouse i've never used the mouse this thick before uh, but it really sits in well um and um you know the the sensitivity all like plug and play sensitivity is really good um just wanted to I just wanted to also uh, mention that uh, this this Windows button here works perfectly fine. Uh, you know, it opens up uh, opens up the Windows uh, tab if if you need it. Um, uh, also, with with the numpad here, I've used it. Uh, I've used it uh, for calculations, etc. The the keys here on the numpad are not the same keys as the one on the keyboard. Uh, the keys on the numpad are a bit thinner for some reason. Not sure why. Um, but you know, it, it's also, um, also I, I realize there's a clear button on here, which normally you won't see on a numpad. So the clear button really helps, uh, just when you're doing some calculations. Uh, so that's an extra bit of feature. And I figured out what this function key does. So it, as you can see the blue and the white. So when you flick it to the blue, it turns on all the, the blue functions here on the, on the keyboard. So. When I flick it to the blue, obviously F1 will go to home. You can turn your volume up and down with F11 and F12. So yeah, the blue keys, uh, they just, um, obviously the functions like volume up, volume down, play, pause, you have to flick the function key to blue to access those. If you flick it to um, uh, just the white, it just goes back to the normal F1, F2 keys. Uh, so I really like that feature because in in a lot of other keyboards you have to press the function button to do it to to change uh, to use the functions. Uh, whereas on here we just click a switch, so that that makes it really handy. Um, also, uh, the feel of this thing here, the the clock feel, it, it's really good. It's really comfy. Um, so I can see myself sitting on this keyboard all day at my office uh, and just typing away without any any hassles. Now also there was something online that said it takes a while to get used to it used to the typing um i think it's pretty quick it doesn't take long um especially uh to, to give you a um an idea i did a speed test uh at 9 a.m with my old keyboard and i was getting 39 uh 39 words per minute uh, above average so that's not bad uh, but also now i did again i did a speed test again uh, with my new keyboard uh, with this keyboard here and it's still 39 words per minute so that's not bad with just out of the box typing uh, so if people saying it's going to take too long to get used to this keyboard um, I don't think it is um, as long as you you like the feel of it which I think you will uh, it's and and just these keys here so uh, they feel really good and it feels classy it looks classy uh, and I could definitely see myself working on this thing all day uh, also, it's it's good to have this this feature of just putting this uh, numpad anywhere. Uh, there's only one power button on the mouse, so uh, you know you, the whole thing functions. Yeah, you know, obviously it's all connected up together, uh, and it's plug and play. So uh, yeah, I, I I think it's definitely worth it. Um, definitely worth getting one of these. It cost me a hundred and twenty dollars for the whole set, um, which is not bad. Um, I think to invest uh, into work, something that you'll use regularly at work. Um, so yeah, definitely I'll, down the track, I might give you a, a user review after using it for a couple of months and see how it's still uh, it's tracking. 
Um, but yeah, that's my, my first unboxing review for the Microsoft Sculpt ergonomic keyboard and mouse set. Um, uh, hope you guys liked it. And if you like it, please subscribe for any future unboxing and reviews. Thank you.